Welcome to Simply Made Cocktails. I'm Eric Thoreau. I'm Jones. And bienvenidos para especial. Si. <laughs> Welcome to a special edition of Con Simply Made Cocktails. Bien. Hoy es el día de independencia para México. No, 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 no. That's all he knows. Today is Mexican Independence Day, that means. Oh, good. September 16th. All right. Dia se says día de septiembre. And in este septiembre? Yeah, yeah, septiembre. Yeah, you'll, you'll learn. Yeah. We'll give you the, the Spanish for Dummies show, booklet, you know. Okay, Mr. Uh, Mexicano. I'm not Mexican. I know Spanish for some like that. Anyways, forget that. Um, we're going to feature, our, of course, our friends at Suerte Tequila. They sent us uh, another bottle of Suerte Anejo Tequila. And just to give you a heads up, these guys were basically found, they basically came into business around 2012. They went down, they found their tequileria in Jalisco and um, near Guadalajara, I think it is, it's near that area of Guadalajara area is where their, um, the, the tequileria is and the Elohimador is down there. And they um, basically were basically contracted out first and then they eventually when they, and they had their product, they were doing their product and it became successful because it's a great brand, they did it right. And they eventually found out and they bought their own tequila area, which we want to congratulate Lance and Lawrence for owning your own tequila area. Not too many tequila companies actually physically own their own te tequila areas, which um, a tequila area is the area that in Jalisco where it grows the, the agave plants and you know ferments it and does all that stuff for it and rolls it. So we're featuring their Anejo, which is their oldest line coming soon. They are going to be having an, an extra Anejo, which is the older. Well, like an oh, eight-year cool. eight tequila. Oh, really? Cool. So, that'll be something to look forward to. We will have it here on Super Make Cocktails, and we will review it. You know, because we love Suerte, and we like to have promote their brand. As you tell, we got our backdrop has changed for this special episode to Suerte Tequila, the banner. Um, so anyway, so this is good. We made a cocktail. We were we first went to look up on their website to try to you know push their the cocktails. As far as for involving Nejo, they didn't have too many recipes on it, so we, me and Tom, just decided to um, come up, try to come up with our own recipe concoction here, and this is what we're going to do. It's, it's going to be called the Grand Suerte Punch, I believe. Yeah, the Grand Suerte Punch, and it's going to have one and a half ounces of Suerte and Nejo tequila, and it's going to have an ounce of Grand Marnier orange liqueur. And it's going to have a half ounce of lemonade and a half ounce of cranberry juice. So in, in, yep, yeah, the cranberry juice. So we've got everything here. Oh, and just let so you know, the cranberry, the Grand Marnier is right here. So we didn't miss it. We didn't misplace it. Anyway, so um, that's what we're going to do. Grand Suerte Punch. And we're going to have, have Mr. Tomas si. be our bartender. Si. So go ahead and put some ice. So we're going to use the Parisian shaker that you could get at our store affiliation. Click on simplymadecocktails.com and click on the store link. As he's pacing this out with me, saying it, <laughs> so I don't talk over your, so I don't I'll ice you. Well, we got this new microphone, so I think we're, we're good. Oh, good. So go ahead and do that. So an ounce and a half of suerte. Suerte. Look at suerte. this stuff. Suerte. Look at that great looking bottle there with the lucky rabbit. Yeah, and, and Suerte was uh, actually the Reposado line. Well, it's actually just reviewed on our on our network affiliate shows, on um, sister shows. One and a half, right? Yeah, one and a half over at um, Drink It Up Cocktails. Tom, Thomas, Kyle Thomas um, reviewed it, and they loved it. So, And, of course, it's already been reviewed on Common Man Cocktails and also at Spare Cocktails. So, basically, it's been reviewed across the board at Epic Happy, ooh, excuse me, Epic Happy Hour Network. So, now we're going to oh, do, do this first? Do the, uh, yeah, the Grand Marnier. I think that's, uh, let's see here. Get the Evernote up here. Uh, one ounce. One ounce of Grand Marnier orange liqueur. One ounce of hotel grade. <laughs> she gets it from hotel? That's just another one, man. I got to make my way Jeez. down. They charge me an arm and leg for the room, so oh, I yeah. you know, get my spirits out. So, you, have, you put something with equal uh, weight and you want. So it wouldn't register it? Yeah, I, just got, I had an empty bottle, so I filled it up with water. Oh, there you go. That's a smart one. Okay, so we got that. And next is actually uh, the lemonade. Or the cranberry. Half ounce either, either way. Half ounce? Half ounce cranberry. And we're going to be serving this up in a, a, a margarita glass. La vaso de margarita. Half ounce lemonade. Okay. Okay. 
You just had it? You just had it? Yes, I did. Boy, not a whole lot to the ounces, huh? All right. This may be a bigger glass than we actually may need. But anyways, we could have double up the recipe, but like I said, we're, we're freestyling this. Just until it's chilled, otherwise you're not going to get that. That's like a Boston shaker. <laughs> See? Yeah. It didn't work until after you tapped the side to loosen up the suction. Yeah, yeah. See, that was waiting for that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, and you're whatever. You're just there trying to open it like, oh, crap, not again. <laughs> I'm all eventually with persistence at all of it. So that's like a nice rose color. Yes. Well, actually, no, I'll say more like a peach color. Mm hmm So I actually filled up pretty Definitely much. Definitely gets uh, some of the color from here and the color from there. That's actually pretty much good size. Yeah. Came out just right. Yeah. I smelled the cranberry. Mm-hmm. And I could get the lemon. Cool. Not too much Not too much of the, the Grand Marnier or the Anejo, but let's check it out. You do get the um, you can smell the uh, anejo. You can get the anejo in it. You get the tequila. And oh, it has a good flavor. It's a good mask. It's a good complimentary flavor yeah. to everybody. Especially if you like tequila. It uh, it gives it that that. You that, get the uh, you get the Grand Marnier the barrel. Too. You, you get, get the, the Grand barrel. Marnier. Yeah. So you get the Grand Marnier. Yes. Um, and I think just um, you don't get too much of this. Yeah, the cranberry, not it too much. It probably uh, dissolves a little bit right here. They counteract each other, the sweet and sour, or the, yeah. you know, and then and this does add a little bit of the dryness to to the cocktail, which makes it really refreshing. Yeah, very refreshing, very refreshing. The only thing that could have made it a little more refreshing is, is maybe the grass was chilled a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And we, we didn't but see, this is good because if you still want that flavor, but you don't want to just focus primarily on this flavor, um, this is a good refreshing drink. It kind of, I mean, you if you're having this just by itself, you know, you you're not gonna. You're, you're gonna probably sip this if you have it just by itself or like you know, do like a shot right or something But with this mixed in and everything it makes it really really refreshing Yeah, this is a great cocktail, but it does have the, the still the punch a couple of these in and you will definitely need Oh, yeah, a designated driver. Yes, so like we always curry and encourage you we're 100% strongly behind the drink smart campaign and we want you to be safe out there so you can enjoy it yesterday We reviewed Jim Beam Tomorrow we're going to do a cocktail featuring Jim Beam. Again, it was at the um, the Maple. So it was it was good stuff. Mm -hmm. It was good stuff. So Jim Beam is for the bourbon, you know, national bourbon much. But we had to squeeze this in because it is Mexican Independence Day, and we have our friends over there at Suerte Tequila, and we wanted somehow. It's, really, it's been a while since we used them in an the episode since our best. I think since May. Since oh we did, yeah, it's been we a while. did the Cinco de Mayo stuff. You know, we did one one whole week of Blanco Tequila, then the next week was Reposado, which you weren't here for. No. But then uh, we came back and you were here for the Nejo. Yeah, and then also on a, on a Berry Barfly. Um, plug. It wasn't the Anejo. Plug. It was a Reposado. It was a plug. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a good stuff. Yeah, the Pomegranate. Yes. That we, yes. we, um, we used with Pomegranate. And again, it was my Reposado. What? It was my Pama. What? No, no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, was it? We shot it here. Oh, yeah, yeah, but... Uh, the initial recipe that okay. you tried before making it, you actually used your own Blanco. Yeah. The Suerte Blanco that I gave you. Yeah. And then they sent you the Reposado. Yeah. And that's where you decided to use it. But yep. you, But, of course, they sent it to you, but yet you used mine. Well, of course. I mean, I used your studio. Used my studio. I <laughs> used that alcohol. Oh, yeah. yeah. The only thing we used was, what, the, 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 um, the shaker? We used we used my lighting and the, the, the camera. That's it. <laughs> my microphone. Oh yeah, that's a good microphone, by the way. So I gotta get me one of them. Coming soon. He'll step up in his audio. Yep. So, anyways, you could check Chom out. Uh, Chom. <laughs> you could check Chom out. <laughs> you too could check much. Too much. This is our seventh Cut episode. This, guy off. this is our seventh episode that we've recorded. Yeah. So we've actually recorded this in advance. Um, you can check Tom's channel out at BayAreaBarfly.tv. He's also on Epic Happy Hour. You can go to bit.ly slash BayAreaBarfly. That's your channel on Epic Happy Hour Network. Oh. So I created a bit.ly. Okay. Nice. Um, Appreciate that. So This guy's a genius. So you can go there, and, but go to BayAreaBarfly.tv to subscribe. You can subscribe on his channel over on the Epic Happy Hour Network too. 
but go to it in any ways, in any ways facet, subscribe to his channel. And his website is barrierbarfly.com, which actually is going to be re redone again. There were some technical errors with the website, web hosting, so we're, we're in the works of fixing that out. And in the meantime, back to my show. Yeah. Our yeah, show hey, here. this is your show this here. Is huh? out there all. all right, Simply yeah. Made. Simply Made Cocktails. I was mm -hmm. going to say, you know, you know, simplymadecocktails.com here, but we're using the, the Suerte Tequila banner, uh, drinksuerte.com, and the hashtag Suerte Tequila. You can find them on um, Instagram and Twitter at Suerte Tequila, or, or Facebook at slash Suerte Tequila. So they're they're all over the place. We'll have their links down below at the description of this video on the channel and also on the website. We highly recommend it. Again, thanks a lot, and we want to wish everybody a happy and safe Mexican Independence Day. Do not do anything crazy. It's not worth it. And especially here in San Jose, there's habits. You know, like on Cinco de Mayo to go on the streets and to cause havoc. Yeah. That is not what the celebration is about. If you're doing that, you're just there to cause havoc. You're not there to celebrate the holiday. Right. And it's like Cinco de Mayo. I've always said Cinco de Mayo is not really a holiday. They don't even celebrate it down there in, in um, Pueblo, where they conquered the, the French. So it's just a, a commercial holiday like St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, you know, all that stuff. But that's me. So anyways, happy Mexican Independence Day is what really counts. And that's September 16th today. And we want you to be safe. We'll see you tomorrow when we return back to our normal episodes of Cocktail Wednesday here on Simply Made Cocktails. Subscribe to our channel at simplymadecocktails.tv and we'll see you tomorrow.